You've no proof. The gun is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Brilliantly worked out, Wadsworth. I congratulate you. Me too. Shut up! Now, there's one thing I don't understand. One thing? Why did you do it? Half of Washington knows what kind of business you run. You were in no real danger. The whole town would be implicated if you were exposed. I don't think they know my real business. Huh. My business is secrets. And a vet found them out for me. The secrets of Senator Peacock's defense committee, of Colonel Mustard's fusion bomb, Professor Plum's UN contacts, and the work of your husband, a nuclear physicist. So, it is political. You're a communist. No, Mr. Green. Communism is just a red herring. Like all members of the oldest profession, I'm a capitalist. And I'm going to sell my secrets, your secrets, to the highest bidder. Why would I have murdered all the others? Obviously, in case Mr. Body had told them about you. So it was all nothing to do with a disappearing nuclear physicist and Colonel Mustard's work on the new fusion bomb. No, communism was just a red herring. Mrs. Peacock did it all. There's no proof. I shot her. You? So it was you. I was going to expose you. I know. So I choose to expose myself. Please, there are ladies present. You thought Mr. Body was dead, but why? None of you even met him till tonight. You're Mr. Body. <laughs> Wait a minute. So who did I kill? My butler. Oh, shucks. He was expendable, like all of you. I'm grateful to you all for disposing of my network of spies and informers. Saved me a lot of trouble. Now there's no evidence against me. This all has nothing to do with my disappearing nuclear physicist husband or Colonel Mustard's work with the new top-secret fusion bomb. <laughs> no. Communism was just a red herring. <laughs>